everybody. It's another cold morning here. Like that seems to be quite normal. It was minus 15 earlier and right now it's gone up to minus 14. Not much wind or anything but still too cold to go for a nice long walk so I'm headed out to the cabin. I got out for a nice long walk yesterday afternoon and got caught in a, quite a serious snow squall on my way back. Uh, couldn't see I don't know, 100 feet in front of me there for about 20 minutes, but then that cleared up and we had a nice sunny day again today with a major blizzard predicted for the weekend, I guess. Anyway, I've been out trying to get the fire going and I'm going back and forth working on warming the cabin up. Plan to take out some soup uh, to have for lunch and I've been thinking about crepes lately, so I'm going to make a crepe batter and uh, take it out with me. I'm just not sure that I can get enough heat on the top of the stove to cook crepes, but time will tell. Anyway, let's make the batter now and uh, take it out and give it a try a little later on. I have a book of crepe recipes, which I, I never use. I've already managed to get this wet after I printed it, but I go online for a lot of these things to uh, a site called allrecipes.com. I find uh, their, their recipes submitted by people who find them, you know, tested and good, and I, I usually they work out quite well. So this is the recipe that I use for, for crepes. It's one cup of uh, just all-purpose white flour, two eggs, which I will add in a minute here, but I've got to show you the eggs. I'm going to use this bruiser, which I think uh, was laid by my big white hen, the big white Plymouth Rock. Matilda. Uh, usually she's the one that uh, produces something that, that huge. Just to give you an idea of the difference in size, that's a bantam egg. And then this is a good size, large, regular hen's egg. So it calls for two eggs, so I'm not going to put this and this in. I've decided that I will uh, put a bantam egg and this super large one in. I'm anxious to crack it because I'm convinced that this has probably got two yolks. And other than that it calls for a half cup of milk and a half cup of water, which I have mixed together. Two tablespoons of melted butter and a quarter teaspoon of salt, which I will add to the dry ingredients right there now. I guess. Add a bit of a whirl about. With crepes, unlike the uh, traditional pancakes, there isn't any leavening. You don't want them to, to do any great rising. Eggs give things a bit of leavening. And the butter. batter is quite forgiving. It will uh, store well for a day or two and still work quite nicely. Now we'll put Matilda's large egg in here. Yeah, two yolks. If you can well, you can see that, but there are two yolks in Matilda's egg. And I'll add one of the little banty eggs, which I'm sure makes this more than two eggs required. But anyway, a nice rich batter, I guess. This thing that I'm mixing it in is a, a bread proofing bucket or proofing container. To, I use it when I make the no need bread. It has a nice cover to it, which is why I want to mix the batter in it today so I can cover it up and take it out to the cabin. Well, that's that, and it will benefit from just sitting around and absorbing, and absorbing the moisture into the flour. Anyway, I'll see if I can get that fire going out there and uh, we'll get this up and trying it anyway. I'm not so sure it's going to work, but I'll give it a try.
had my lunch and the water has boiled to make tea so now I guess it's time to see if I can do a crepe out here. You don't need a lot of oil. The pan is what they call a seasoned pan. Just enough oil to... and actually I only seem to put oil on the first one or two after that it doesn't need any at all. I'll use about a quarter cup of the batter. Hopefully the pan's hot enough. One thing I forgot to bring out with me was a spatula, but uh, most times I don't need one anyway. Once you've loosened it around the around the edges, it will uh, often turn without tearing in two. We'll see what happens today. It does appear to be starting to cook, I guess. does on the gas stove, I guess. to get it turned anyway. It isn't all that brown. I'll leave it longer than I normally do on the second side. I'll come back and show you when I've done another one. This is crepe number two. They're turning better but they're just not getting very brown. I don't seem to have heat enough coming out of the stove here. If I just put more wood in or more bio bricks, maybe as I go on here I'll finally get one that browns up like it's supposed to, but uh, they are cooking so there you know, no problem eating them, it's just that they're not going to be nice and golden brown, that's all. I guess I'm just about ready to eat my blonde instead of brown crepes. My favorite way of having crepes is with a little sugar and lemon juice. Not sure is that called crepes is that I really don't know. Anyway that's the way I prefer them but I don't have any lemons today so I'm adding sugar and uh, some fresh orange juice. I don't know if it's going to taste like or not but it smells very good. too crispy. And there we are. Find a knife and fork. I'll sit down and have some, I guess. Well, I'm not sure what I've done with the fork, so I'll try it with a knife here. quite good. If I mentioned or not, but the sugar that I'm using is vanilla sugar. You take a vanilla bean and uh, about half of vanilla bean, a couple of cups of sugar, split the vanilla bean and 
scrape out the little seeds and then put the whole what's left of the bean in with the sugar too and close it up and over a couple of weeks it takes on the flavor of the vanilla it's very nice in tea and other things well, that just about finishes this I'll just give you a little glimpse of a, a thermometer here to show you how it's warmed up in here and it's still quite cold outside the last several times that I've been out in the cabin I've been reading this same book it seems to take me forever to finish one of these George R. R. Martin he wrote a series of four books um, Game of Thrones the series is called this is the last of the four Feast for Crows um, each volume is between 900 and 1,000 pages when you see them in paperback. And digital it can be any number depending on the size of the font that you, that you choose. But I seem to take forever. I've been reading these now for probably three years. I read three or four books in between and then pick up another one. This is the final one. Um, in the U.S., um, what's the name of that? I can't think of the name. Uh, HBO, the, the uh, television network has made a series or is in the process of making a series. I saw the first, the one that they did on the first book and I'm not sure how many more they've, they have finished. I saw them uh, on Netflix, but anyway, I can't get them on the Canadian Netflix and not there yet anyway, so I'll wait and see when the other ones come out. But just wanted to show you what the temperature is, has been like. It's still minus 12 outdoors. That's as warm as it has got. And in here with the fire going, it's up to 23 degrees, which is very comfortable. Anyway, lunch is over. I finished my crepes. They weren't nice and brown, but they still tasted very good. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll get this posted and up on YouTube.